By now, you've probably heard that Williamson County has had its first case of the coronavirus. And in reaction to that, the school has, has gone to the step of canceling schools for Friday and Monday for Williamson County Schools to do extra deep cleaning. Uh, we wanted to come to you and give you our perspective on the situation and how we're responding to it. We've been in conversations as a staff for several weeks and more even today with this development. And we want to let you know that we want to be wise about the way we handle things. We're doing extra cleaning as a church. Uh, we're looking for ways to have hand sanitizer and different things available for you to keep things clear. We've posted uh, the, the requirements for uh, children who, if they're displaying sickness, that they would stay home. We encourage you as an adult to do that as well. If you're feeling sick, don't, don't come and be with us. But we also wanted to bring the other side of that as well. We are not a people of fear. Um, the Bible says that we have a peace that passes understanding. And I'm convinced that if God has fingernails, he's not chewing them today. So we're not going to be a people who are afraid. All over our community, in our region, people are cleaning out from tornadoes hitting their house. They're putting back the pieces of their life. Some are, are grieving the loss of loved ones. Uh, our world is in need of the church. Our world is in need of the people of God to be moving with the pace of God and the heart of God. This is not a time for us to pull back, shrink back, as the writer of Hebrews said. This is a time for us to move forward, and we're going to continue to do that. We will not allow any of these things to distract us from this ever-important mission that we're on together. So I want to let you know uh, that we're here for you. If you are in a situation where you have a compromised immune system or where you're feeling ill and you can't be with us on a, on a Sunday morning, our Facebook Live is always up and available, and we want to uh, make that available to you if you've never tried that. Um, if we can be of assistance to you or your family in any way, let us know about that. If you, if you would like us to come and bring uh, communion to you and pray with you, uh, let us know about that. Reach out to us. Uh, through the app and let us know that you'd like that for, for uh, a way during these days when you're unable to be with us in person. Uh, but mostly, I want to reach out to you and let you know that there's no, this is not a time to be afraid. God is with us. We serve a, a mighty king who's, who's more than capable of handling everything that comes our way. I was reminded this week of Psalms chapter 46, and I wanted to read this to you just as a way of, of uh, letting us have a perspective that, that's right before God. Psalms 46 says, God, you're such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You're a proven help in time of trouble. More than enough, always available whenever I need you. So we will never fear. Even if every structure of support were to crumble away, we will not fear even when the earth quakes and shakes, moving mountains, casting them into the sea. For the raging roar of stormy winds and crushing waves cannot erode our faith in you. And it will not. It will not. Because God is here. So he says, surrender your anxiety. Verse 10, be silent and stop your striving and you will see that I am God. I'm the God above all the nations and I will be exalted throughout the whole earth. The mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. Friends, remember the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side and be a calming force in the world around us as we seek to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Take care.